Well, tonight, a family asking for your help to find who killed a loved one. Family members have spent the last six years searching for answers. I can't even imagine. KSHB 41 News reporter Andres Gutierrez shares their pleas to solve this case and find some closure. In August 2015, someone killed Danielle Wilson and dumped her body in this alleyway near 29th and Myrtle. Police have some clues, but not enough to bring the killer to justice. So her family is speaking out before her case goes cold. It's really been hard for my family since my mama's been gone. These past six years, it's hard to go on about our day. Holidays is really hard for us. There's not a day that goes by that Amari Church and her eight siblings don't think about the birthdays and other milestones their mother, Danielle Wilson, can't celebrate with them. I miss her so much. I miss her so, so much. On August 14, 2015, a man mowing grass discovered the body of the 36-year-old who had been beaten and shot and dumped in an alleyway. It's just so hard for us to grasp the thing that has happened to her and the fashion that it happened to her. Wilson grew up in Higginsville and later in life moved to Kansas City to work jobs in retail and health care. As a young woman, she battled addiction, but her mother says she was in the midst of turning a corner. I want to just think that when she was trying to tie those loose ends up, I think she just didn't know how to do it at that time. And the way that she did it, it wasn't the right way. According to KCPD, every year dozens of cases go unsolved, but those are worked extensively by detectives following up on all leads and examining every piece of evidence. Generally, after a period of five years of nothing new, a case is reviewed one more time by the detective assigned to it before it gets labeled a cold case. Time helps uh, people feel more comfortable about coming forward with that information, right? Uh, people change. This is six years ago. Uh, maybe someone that had information they didn't want to come forward at that time uh, has had something like this happen to him. And Wilson's case is still with Detective Daniel Frazier, but is in danger of going cold without some new lead or tip. Any information, right? Anything that anyone has about Danielle Wilson, day-to-day uh, -day activities leading up to her death, I want to hear about. Um, and uh, so that I can go through that with the knowledge of the investigation. What mainly what we want is closure in this case, and allow her to rest in peace. In Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, KSHB 41 News. If you know anything about this case or any other violent crime in the Metro, call the TIPS hotline. You know that number, 816-474-TIPS. You will remain anonymous. You could even earn a cash reward. As you heard that family say, they're asking for justice. They're asking for some closure.